Welcome back to Daytime here on Rogers TV. Well, if you have not heard the soothing and wonderful and beautiful sounds of Kelly Lee Evans, then where have you been? <laughs> it is the perfect date night music, the perfect music, oh, with a bathtub and candles. It is just absolutely the best. And she is just not only a beautiful singer, but just a lovely, lovely person. Here she is for you now, the incomparable Kelly Lee Evans. It's good to see you again. Uh, good to see you guys again, too. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, oh, my gosh. Kidding? We'd have you weekly yes, if we could. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Welcome Joel? to the show, Joel. Yeah. Joel Yim? Yeah. I'm All right. Here. Okay. Well, Kelly Lee, great news because you have a brand new album out. Uh, now, traditionally, some of your songs have had some love themes to them. What can people expect this time? More obsession. Oh, more obsession. Oh, yes. yes. That's why you two get along so well. <laughs> Excellent. It yeah, I know it's, it's very much about lust and love and longing. And um, it's, a perfect, it's a perfect CD, I think, just to go through the different stages of a relationship, you know, from the lead up, well, just from the, the first glimpse to, like, the end. So, yeah, it, I'm, I really enjoy the CD. It sounds like you're in a, a new phase in your career. How would you describe the difference between your first album and this new album? Well, you know, it's funny, I, I want to say that I probably have more experience now, but in the last little while I'm realizing that I need to like, get rid of that experience and really approach this album the same way that I approached the first one, which was with a sense of wonder and not knowing what the industry was like and feeling that anything could happen. Because I think that if, if there is some success for the CD, I think that's going to be why. If you, you just have to kind of believe again. And it, it's easy to get really jaded, so I want to make sure that I don't, I don't get that way. Yeah. What comes first when you're songwriting? Is it the music or the lyrics? Well, sometimes they seem to come together, you know. Um, the music really, I'll, I'll get like a little melody in my head, and it seems to suit a certain lyric, or a certain lyric seems to suit a certain type of music. So somehow I feel like they arrive together. And that's the best, the best time, like when I kind of let go and just let them come, then they usually come together. You've got a performance at Parliament Hill tomorrow. Tell yeah. us about the performance. Well, Joel and I will be sing, uh, doing the national anthem. Oh, Fabulous. really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah, it's Black History Month, and so there, right. the Minister of, of Culture is opening Black History Month tomorrow, and so we're performing there. And also I'm going to be doing a song that I wrote uh, for Nelson Mandela, a song called Free. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Well, I talked a little bit about, you know, sort of your, your music is so soothing and wonderful. I mean, you just want to close your eyes when you listen to it, really. Would people expect the same feel from this new album? Yeah, you know what? It's a lot more energetic, but it still has a peace, peaceful element to it. And I think that's just, it's, uh, I don't know what it is. I think it's, it's something in my voice. Oh, it's something yeah. in my voice because, you know, anybody that knows me knows that I'm really like really high energy. Yes, it's I true. I don't think being around me is very relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but my music is. So. Well, we love being around you and yeah. we love listening to your music and we hope you come more often and uh, will you play one of your songs for us now? Yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, well, here she is. You're going to be, you're going to feel compelled to close your eyes, sit back and relax and listen to Kelly Lee Evans.
praise to your shame. Your 